So, are you anything like me and possibly use drinking when you're going out to socialize to feel a little bit more confident and feel to talk more easily to people? Maybe you're thinking about Christmas and the holidays and having all these dinner parties and worried about how you're going to go about drinking or not drinking, what you're going to say. See, I started drinking when I was a teenager. Basically, it became a norm in my life when I was about 17 years old. I was pretty introverted and shy, and when I discovered alcohol, it was like this magical elixir that helped me turn into an extrovert. It literally made me feel more confident, more extroverted, and more interesting when I was talking to people. I thought that it made me more confident, and for years I carried this belief and didn't really challenge myself to see if it was actually true. For years I considered that drinking was the key to socializing and was what literally made me just more bubbly and effervescent and fun to be with and talk to. And I thought these beliefs were really normal and that there was nothing wrong with having them. Today, I'm going to share with you what the true link between alcohol and confidence is. And before we begin, if we haven't met yet before, my name is Carolina and I'm an alcohol-free life coach and founder of Euphoric, which is a space for anyone to reevaluate the role of alcohol in their lives. For so long, we've been taught that you have to hit some kind of rock bottom in order to question the relationship you have with alcohol. And yet, last time I checked, most of us have been drinking since we were teenagers, and we rarely stop and reflect if this alcohol habit and drinking habit is really serving us and where we want to go. For example, when I was in my 20s, I was working a very unfulfilling job, and I basically lived for the weekend. I did what I had to during the week and then couldn't wait to drink every weekend. In a way, I felt so stuck and so unfulfilled because I wasn't actually shifting my life in order to do the things that made me happy. I was not asking myself what my deeper passions and my deeper dreams were. I was just going through the motions of what I thought I had to do and then making it seem easier or better by drinking every weekend. It wasn't until I took a break from alcohol that I uncovered what I really wanted in this life, what I really wanted to be, do, and have who I really was and what my true needs were, that alcohol was just masking the whole time. And so you might be asking yourself today, do I drink ever to become more confident? Do I use it as liquid courage? Do I ever feel like I have to have a drink when I'm out with other people or else? And where these might of assumptions and beliefs might be coming from and how you can reverse them so that you fundamentally are the one in power. Because when you rely on something like an outside beverage from yourself for confidence, that means you're never developing it within. It means you're never finding the skill within yourself to practice and hone and develop over time and truly overcome any kind of limitations and shortfallings on your own instead of outsourcing it to a beverage. This is what happened to me. I drank since I was a teenager up until when I was 30 years old, and every single time I went out to socialize or to see any people, drinking had to be involved because I felt like I was just too insecure and introverted to be able to handle those occasions on my own. What I basically did was never learn how to socialize sober. It was a muscle I barely ever worked out. And so the the idea of going to a Christmas party dinner or anything like that gave me such high nerves because this was not something I was used to doing. I always relied on alcohol to have a good time and to seem more extroverted. What ended up happening though over time was that alcohol actually chipped away at my confidence. Alcohol actually made me feel every single morning that I woke up after drinking like I had lower self-esteem, lower self-trust in myself, and I felt ashamed and disappointed. Because that's just what drinking does. You usually drink more than you want to, you press pause on your health goals, you eat whatever, you don't work out, and you end up just living in this comfort zone of behaviors that don't serve you in your dreams and where you really want to go in life. And so every Monday morning, I would just wake up so depressed and down on myself for the drinking that happened over the weekend. I felt like I was living my life in a constant loop where I made progress during the week and tried to be healthy and eat well and work out and then erased all that progress every single weekend. I couldn't even fathom getting out of this loop though because I had a healthy social life. I went out with my husband to sushi nights and game nights and we went out with our friends. I could not imagine how I could possibly go through those situations and not drink. Isn't drinking normal? Isn't it what most adults do? Don't we all rely on drinking to loosen up and have a good time? I had to question these assumptions if I was ever really going to get at the root of my relationship with alcohol and discover which assumptions and beliefs were truly serving me and which ones were holding me back. For example, this belief that I thought I needed to drink to be able to become extroverted and be the life of the party was an incredibly limiting belief. 
It might sound innocuous on the outset that drinking makes you more fun or more bubbly or more confident, but in reality, what you're saying when you say those things is, I'm not confident, I'm not fun, I'm not interesting without alcohol. Can you imagine saying that? I mean, it's a fermented beverage in a glass, right? And you are not fun, interesting, or confident if you don't drink this fermented beverage in a glass. It's kind of silly, right? And yet that's what, in essence, we keep telling ourselves over and over and over when we drink and socialize and think that those two need to be married together. We aren't able to develop our own confidence in our own skins as we are as people, authentically, intrinsically, without any kind of the false, like, accurate, inaccurate effects of alcohol distorting who we really are. I mean, I don't know if you've ever been there, but have you ever had a conversation with someone when you were under the influence and the next day you just wake up and totally cringe at what you said and who you were in that moment? Maybe you made a fake new best friend and promised to visit each other across state or something stupid like that. I've definitely been there and I've always cringed at the person who I became when I drank because it wasn't authentic to me. It wasn't what I truly thought. It wasn't what I would truly say. It wasn't how I would truly act. It was like a total fake version of me. And that literally crumbled my confidence over time because I believed that I couldn't even trust myself because I didn't know who I turned into when I drank. I had to finally uncover who I truly was by literally experimenting with a break from alcohol and going through the motions of actually going to the parties and going to the social events and feeling what it was like to not drink at those events. I literally never gave myself that chance because I was drinking ever since I was a teenager up until age 30 never ever ever experiencing any of those social occasions with alcohol. I thought that I needed to drink in order to be confident. In reality, drinking was rubbing away and tearing away at my confidence and my self-esteem over time and making me feel such a lack of self-trust in myself. When I finally went out there and tried on socializing without alcohol, I actually found that I could develop the confidence within myself. I learned that most people are awkward and that it's normal to feel social anxiety when you first meet people. Most people suck at small talk and we love to gravitate to connections that make us feel like we're thriving and alive and not talking about the weather. It's normal to have slight anxieties about socializing and feeling uncomfortable in your skin when you're first meeting people. But the thing is, the natural thing that happens is within 10 to 15 minutes, some of those nerves just go away naturally on their own and people open up to each other. That's what happens. We believe falsely that alcohol is the only thing that helps bring us out and relieves the edge and helps us loosen up, but it's just not true. And so if you've never socialized without drinking, I want to ask you, what links do you have in your mind between confidence and alcohol? Do you believe you need it to be fun, interesting, and talkable? Do you think that it's liquid courage in your belt? And how has your life proved the opposite to be true? What times has it made you feel like you were inauthentic or that you messed up and regretted what you said the night before? How many times did it make you feel like you weren't being who you truly are and yet you're not even sure who that is because drinking is always in the picture? If you're curious to learn who you intrinsically are, what you intrinsically need, and what you really want in this one lifetime, I would love to invite you to my eight week program, Become Euphoric, where you can discover these things while you're taking a guided break from alcohol and unlocking your fullest potential. In an eight week break, you can change so much in your life. You can completely undo the habit of drinking so that you're ultimately in control. You can totally revamp your healthy lifestyle and do the things you wish you did. And you can get to know yourself better and what you really wanna do on this planet. Some of my Become Euphoric clients have done amazing things after they took the course. Not only did they reevaluate the role of alcohol in their lives, some of them fell in love with the alcohol-free lifestyle and decided never to go back. They increased their revenue in their business, they launched new businesses, they became coaches, they became yoga instructors, they wrote books, they have done incredible, incredible things. They amaze me every day because when you put faith over your fears, and really stop reaching for a drink anytime you feel uncomfortable, you start to learn what you really need and want in this life. You start to learn what your emotions are trying to tell you and how to find organic joy. Not the kind of joy that comes in a glass, that's just artificial stimulation. I mean pure organic joy. What really makes you happy? And when you can uncover those things, you will start to chart a progress of transformation in your life. You will start to make shifts in the areas you wish you made shifts in. 
if you feel like you don't have enough loved ones in your life or connections with friends, you will start to work on that instead of sitting on the sidelines and complaining. If you feel you wish you would be healthier, eat more plant-based or work out more, this is the one keystone habit change that you need to make to make all of the other habits in your health lifestyle so much easier. If you wish you did things like wrote in your journal or wrote a book or started a business or actually let yourself do hobbies like draw or paint or who knows, aerial yoga, this is the time to explore what actually makes you happy and isn't just immediate gratification in a glass. Who could you become if you never had desires for alcohol? If you literally were so obsessed with your own passions and purpose that it didn't even dawn on you to drink anymore. Are you excited to find out? Well, I hope to join you in the course Become Euphoric. It's open for a limited time and I would just love to see you there to take an eight week break, guided from alcohol, uncover all the beliefs that don't serve you, erase them, replace them with empowering beliefs that do so that you can literally become your best self, discover your inherent dreams, and have all the mental energy and clarity to actually go after them. This is so much bigger than a liquid beverage in a glass. This is about you and your dreams and your passions and not playing small anymore in your comfort zone, instead taking life full force, asking yourself what you really want and having all the confidence to go there. That's the thing about confidence. It's not something you're born with and it's not something that some people just have and some people don't. Confidence is the result of experience and getting competence. The only way you're ever going to get experience and get competence is if you actually go out there and just try it. If you actually go out there and just try to be yourself around other people and socialize at Christmas dinner. The actually going out there and trying new passions and hobbies. Actually going out there and trying to see who you are when you don't drink and you focus on your life goals. You try, you get experience, you get competence, and then you get so much confidence that fulfills you and uplifts you every single day to really know that you have full control of your life and not a fermented beverage in a glass. So if you're excited, I'll include the link below and I hope to see you there.